Hi everyone, this is Casey with the Phoenix Project. Today I'm just showing the installation process for Phoenix 6.0.1 on an iMac G5 at 2.0 gigahertz. Everything goes smoothly, except you will notice a warning about Wi-Fi firmware. This happens because unfortunately Apple Airport cards are currently unsupported due to firmware availability. This may change in the future. It's something I'm working on because the firmware was available in the past. It was just not taken care of and basically allowed to deprecate. The installation process on the iMac did take longer than it did on my G5 quad core, but that's obviously to be expected. In fact, it took about 45 minutes for the whole process to complete. But I suppose we're still beating the installation time for Windows 11, so that's great. Now that I have Phoenix installed, um, everything is working quite well, except the aforementioned Wi-Fi. It starts up reasonably quickly, and everything feels responsive. Uh, there's a few minutes at the end of the video showing the Phoenix desktop after logging in, but I don't have the system hooked up to Ethernet right now, so there's not a lot to show you at the moment. I'll go ahead and speed up the rest of the installation, so instead of watching bars slowly fill up, you can watch bars quickly fill up. And here we are at the Phoenix desktop. Like I said, there's no network access right now, but I can show you the basics and move some windows around and stuff. As you can see, the system is quite usable and responsive. Um, in the next video, I will get the system online and make a more extensive video showing uh, different applications and things like that. Until then, one last thing. Um, I purchased this system for Phoenix Validation because it was one of the most popular installation target systems, and due to some troubleshooting requests that I was unable to answer um, without the system, this was made possible because of some generous donors. I really don't care if it was a $10 donation or a $300 donation. To me, they're both amazing and incredibly generous. Um, as I've said before, I've funded most of the costs associated with this project myself, including ISP fees for hosting the repository, and I've essentially volunteered all of the development time, which I've been more than happy to do. The entire project has been an incredible learning experience for me. It's a great hobby, and I love the little community that it's grown. That said, if you would like to donate, um, there are ways to make a donation on the Phoenix website by clicking the donate link. Please don't feel obligated to do so, especially if it would cause any kind of hardship for you. But if you do have something you'd like to contribute, I'd very much appreciate it. Donations help a bit with ongoing costs and help with purchases that help me make the project better. It's also just really motivating to know there are people out there who enjoy Phoenix as much as I do and want to help it succeed. 
Finally, thank you everyone for trying out Phoenix, for telling other people about Phoenix, for supporting the project, for reporting bugs in a polite and helpful manner. I'm really just blown away by the little community we've created and watching it grow. Um, all right, take care everyone of yourselves and others and of your PowerPC computers.